cycles. So motion that has a repeating pattern is called a cyclic motion, or cyclic motion, also called periodic motion. So there's lots of examples for such as uh, say a wheel that's turning. So it uh, completes one cycle when it uh, completes a, an entire turn. And uh, walking uh, is a also cyclic motion, so it repeats after two steps. Uh, other examples include um, vibrations, a uh, mass on a rubber band that's vibrating up and down, and uh, something swinging back and forth, like an oscillating a pendulum. So vibrations and oscillations are other examples of cyclic periodic motion. Now, there's uh, some vocabulary that's good to understand when it comes to uh, cyclic motion. So uh, the following terms, uh, period, frequency, amplitude, and speed, uh, let's take a few minutes to uh, define these and explain the relationship uh, between, uh, between these four elements. So the simplest one is the period for a cycle. So that's the time that it takes to do uh, one full round trip. So uh, typically this would be measured in uh, seconds. So the, uh, as an example, the period for a normal walk, <coughs> excuse me, for a normal walk cycle would be about one second per cycle. So it takes about one second to complete uh, two steps, uh, left foot, right foot. Now, for uh, rotation, we also talk about the period of rotation. That, that's uh, just the time it takes to uh, make one full turn. Uh, you see in this photo, because of the gearing, uh, the period of rotation for the small wheel uh, would happen to be a shorter time, shorter period than for the large wheel. Now, a closely related uh, topic or, or uh, element is the frequency for a cycle. So the frequency is just the inverse of the period. Uh, so for example, if we have uh, something which has a period of two seconds per cycle, then the frequency is a half cycle per second. And uh, frequency uh, we call cycles per second uh, hertz. So half a cycle per second is the same as saying uh, one half hertz. Same concept for rotation. We can talk about the frequency of rotation. So that's the number of turns or revolutions or rotations uh, per second. Uh, sometimes this is uh, measured in minutes, such as uh, RPMs, uh, revolutions per minute. Uh, but if we're talking about uh, cycles per second, uh, in this um, example here, if the tops are spinning uh, 20 revolutions per second, then that's a frequency of 20 hertz. Uh, the corresponding period is the inverse of that, so it takes 1 20th of a second uh, to make one uh, revolution. The next um, element is the amplitude. So when we have a uh, cyclic motion, the amplitude is the distance um, from the center uh, position um, for the uh, motion. So for a uh, walk cycle, we could define the amplitude as being the uh, stride length. So that's the uh, distance for uh, two steps. For uh, rotation, uh, the um, distance that we would be interested in, in looking at would be the radius of the rotation. So uh, in this wheel, we might be interested in the uh, radius of the inner wheel or the radius of the outer wheel when we're uh, looking at the rotation. Uh, for the merry-go-round, we might be interested in the motion for the uh, horses uh, towards the inside of the track or the horses on the outside of the track. Uh, of course, when the merry-go-round uh, circles, the uh, horses all uh, travel uh, together in terms of revolutions, but um, the horses on the inside of the track 
don't travel as far as the ones on the outside of the track. And uh, we see this because uh, the inner radius has a smaller circumference and the outer radius has a larger circumference. So the, uh, we can define the amplitude for a cycle in rotation as uh, the circumference uh, for the rotation. Of course, circumference and radius are closely related. The circumference is just 2 pi times the radius. That's just basic geometry. Now, the last element that we care about in terms of uh, periodic or cyclic motion is the speed of the motion. Now, the speed of the motion uh, depends on both frequency and amplitude. So the larger the frequency or the larger the amplitude, uh, the faster uh, the motion. In fact, the speed we can define as the amplitude times the frequency, uh, which is the same thing as the amplitude divided by the period. So for uh, walking, let's say that you are walking slowly and you have a stride length, that would be the amplitude. Let's say you have a stride length of three feet and the frequency is that you're taking uh, two strides every three seconds. Well, if that's the case, then uh, you're traveling at a speed of two feet per second. That's about one and a third miles per hour. On the other hand, a faster walk might have a longer stride and also a quicker uh, cadence or a uh, uh, faster uh, stride rate. So if you have a stride length of four feet and a stride rate of uh, one stride uh, per second, then you're traveling at a speed which is four feet uh, per second, uh, which is just twice what the slow walk was. Uh, so that's just an example of how uh, speed is related to both amplitude and frequency for cyclic motion. Now, um, I want to point out that you should not confuse uh, frequency of a cycle with the speed of the motion. Uh, we just saw that the two are related, but they're not the same thing. Uh, so let's think about this example. These uh, dogs, as they're walking along, if they walk uh, together, then they're all going at the same speed. But the small dogs have uh, short legs, so they take um, short steps or a short stride. Uh, so in order to move at the same speed, their stride rate has to be higher. So they take uh, more steps uh, per second. Nevertheless, all the dogs are traveling at the same speed. Anyway, I just wanted to emphasize the distinction between frequency of a cycle and the speed of the motion. And finally, uh, talking about rotation, the speed of rotation uh, is larger for a point on the outer rim uh, compared with a point on the inner rim. So uh, these two points uh, complete one cycle in the same amount of time, but because the circumference is uh, larger for the point on the outer rim, uh, it's traveling at a higher speed than a point on the inner rim. Same thing with the merry-go-round, the uh, horses on the outer rim are traveling at a higher speed than the inner rim, even though uh, it takes the same amount of time to uh, go one cycle uh, around, one rotation around the merry-go-round. So in uh, summary, uh, motion that has a repeating pattern is called uh, cyclic motion or periodic motion. Uh, the time it takes to complete one full cycle is called the period. Uh, the frequency is the inverse of the period, so that's the number of cycles per second, uh, usually expressed as uh, hertz, uh, which is the same as cycles per second. The amplitude indicates the size of the motion, so for example the stride length in a walk cycle. Uh, for rotation, the amplitude would be the circumference uh, that we're traveling as we move around in the circle, and of course that depends on the radius 
of rotation. So that's the um, basic uh, vocabulary for uh, cyclic motion. Uh, oh, and one last thing, don't forget that the speed of the motion increases with both, with both amplitude and frequency. So uh, obviously period and frequency are closely related. Um, speed is uh, closely related to amplitude and frequency. Anyway, we'll use uh, these ideas uh, quite a bit because there's quite a bit of uh, motion in uh, animation which is uh, cyclic. So, see you then.